Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over and joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. I have here a project, uh, a one sheet wonder project, and it only needs one piece of tour by tour paper. And you can use a single sided or double sided a tour by tour paper to make this really lovely project. And what I made with the uh, tour by tour paper is this clutch or a purse style, and it has uh, expandable pockets. And then there is also a bonus little uh, pocket booklet that uh, you could also make uh, with that one piece of tour by tour. And this is just a cute little booklet. It's got two little side pockets and then there's also a little tiny pocket in the middle there where you can add a little tag if you wanted to add a tag. And just another little, little bonus if you wanted to gift one of these little clutch style purse to somebody and it's a nice large size and I'll show you how it looks like on the inside I've also put a kit uh, a kit together and I'll have that in my Etsy store and I'll show you what's included in the kit after the tutorial but I did add a little dangle here just to decorate the uh, clutch I also added the uh, one of these ruffled layered um, flower shape embellishment to the front as a centerpiece for the closure. I had some like sticker strips of gold and I just uh, add that onto the edge of the closure just to give it a bit of a, uh, just to dress it up a little bit. And then there is some Velcro dots that I'd use as a closure. Now if you don't have any Velcro dots, you could use uh, a foam dot uh, to stick that down. You can use a belly band, some twine, uh, you could use um, some eyelets. If you have some eyelets you could use that or buttons or um, just leave it the way it is. But when you open this up, it opens up and there is like an expandable pocket as you can see there. So it gives you more room to add more uh, of your bits and pieces. I've also placed a, a divider inside. I did glue this one down, but I think it would have been better if I didn't glue it down. That way I could remove it if I don't want to use the divider. So it will be, you can make it as a removal, removable uh, divider insert. I did add a little tab just up here also just to decorate the top part. And I just thought this was a really cute way to make a clutch style purse. It's a good size. Uh, you could also add a uh, traveler's notebook in here if you wanted to, uh, or a little journal. So like a slim size journal. So you can add a lot of things in here. And I think this would make a cute little gift for someone. If, if they like doing journaling, they can add their journal in here. And then there is this cute little um, booklet to go with it. So I'm gonna show you how you can make one of these really easily. And then I'll also show you the kit. Actually, I might show you the kit first. Um, just so you could see how I've got the expandable pocket. Let me just grab the kit, which is just here. And so this is the kit. And you will get a random print uh, if you wanted to place an order. So these are just some of the prints that I have. There is this one. Let me just put this to the side. Uh, you also get either this one or the same as the one that I've just shown you here, which is this one here. So you'll get either one of these um, prints as your clutch. And then there is also a, let me just bring it over. You'll also get a, like a traveler's, an, an, sorry a folio folder and a match book style pocket and you can add some tags in here if you wanted to in there so that just goes in there and that coordinates with your pocket folio folder and it will fit nicely inside the expandable clutch there is also the removable uh, insert that can get placed on the inside and you can um, place it anywhere you like so you can have it in here and then you've got an extra spot in here to add some tickets or some letters or ephemeras and then you've got another part there so as you can see that it divides 
and you can just take that out if you want to you can place it at the back there if you want to have it at the back and you have a, a more wider pocket in the front so you can play around with wherever you like to do that so i glued mine down which i wish i'd just kept mine removable and that can fit in there and then there is also a few other bits and pieces that you will get you get this vellum pocket that i've made and that also fits in there nicely if you wanted to add that in there and I'll just show you so that is the vellum pocket you also get the pieces to create the little mini booklet and you can make that yourself so i've left that for you to have fun and make giving it a go to make it yourself you'll also receive a couple of uh, file tabs if you wanted to add that to your removable divider onto your divider then you can just place it wherever you like so it comes with those there is supposed to be another piece you're meant to get another piece of the uh, one of these ones as well so there is four pieces in total I just misplaced it somewhere um, you'll get two of my ruffled paper flowers this is made using uh, grease proof or parchment paper i've done a tutorial i showed you how to make these really easily and definitely on a budget perfect crafting on a budget project you get the little tag that will fit inside your little booklet and two velcro uh, velcro dots so you've got a spare one if you want to make your own and this one if you want to add it to your clutch style folder so these are the little um, pack that you will get in the in the kit and I'll have this in my Etsy store um, so it will be all random so it will be either uh, one of these prints or you may get it with the clutch with this one with the folio folder which is this one and there is your matching um coordinating match booklet match bo match booklet <laughs> and then that's this one and then you get the little extra pieces here with the vellum pockets but you'll be able to see that in the uh in my shop and i will also do the tutorial in my next video on how you can make one of these pocket folders uh, so that you can fit it inside the clutch purse as well as the match booklet as well so i will do the tutorial with the measurements and how you can make this in my next video if you wanted to add that so now we'll go ahead and i'll show you how you can make this clutch let me just put these away and so you grab your 12 by 12 paper again you can use single sided or double sided because with the single sided you can still cover some parts of the parts that's going to be white so I've got my scoreboard and your 12 by 12 paper. So let me just see. So I'm just going to place it on my scoreboard and we are going to score at 2 and 10 inches. So it's 2 inches and 10 inches. We're going to turn this around i'm just going to just check i've got my paper uh going this way so i'm going to have my pattern uh, facing down to the left because this will be the top so you don't want it to be upside down if you're using a directional pattern and now we're going to go to the other side and we are going to score at three and three quarter of an inch three and three quarters four inches and eight and a half inches so that score line was three and three quarter of an inch four inches and eight and a half inches and that's that and what we want to do next we are going to remove this square or this panel this panel and we are going to remove these two panels as well but let's start with these two first so let's remove these that's one 
here and we'll move this one. So you've got those two removed. We'll put them to the side because we're going to need them later. And now with these two, we are going to also remove them and we're going to cut all the way through that first score line and we are going to cut up to that score line at the top. So we go through the first score line and we'll stop at the top one and then we'll remove that. And then we'll do the same to the other side. Draw the first score line up to that one. And we'll keep them as well because we're going to need them. So you should have those four pieces. So we're going to keep them to the side because that will create the little pocket uh, mini booklet. And what we've got here now, so you've got the two score lines at the bottom. Let's fold them up. So that's your first one. And then we'll fold the other score line as well. So this is going to be the bottom part of your clutch. So that's been folded. We're gonna go into this uh, panel here. So I'm gonna turn it this way and we are going to bring this up and we're gonna fold this over up to that score line so we're pretty much folding it in half up to that score line and then we're going to fold it in half again up to the edge of where we made that fold and then we're going to open this back up and then we're going to bring it all the way over now to the fold line at the edge and then we are going to follow that score line we're just going to fold it towards you fold it back and fold it towards you again and then it will create like an accordion fold so now I'm just going to leave that there we're going to go over to this side and we'll do that we'll do the same to this side so we're going to fold this over again to that fold line or score line Fold that in half, go over again in half, Tap, open it all up, we're going to bring it all over now to that edge and then again I'm going to go to that first score line folding it towards me, back and forward again. And again, making sure we're going to go back down and put that double score line at the bottom. So now you'll have like the accordion style uh, fold. We're going to bring this up and up. And when we glue it, you want to see how it's um, flat there. That's where we're going to make sure that your paper is folded that way. So in this case now, before we glue this down, because we've just about made our clutch, if it's single-sided and it's white here, if you don't like that white part showing or um, if it's double-sided paper, then you should be okay. I want to cover that up like I've done here. So what we do, we grab, I'm just going to show you which ones to, 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 um, to use. You're going to have two pieces that are just sort of cut like this. And then you're gonna have two pieces that have the score lines. Put those two with the score lines, put them down for now. And we'll just take one of these ones. We're gonna just cut these into two strips so we can cover these two pieces. So I'm just going to grab my trimmer and I'm just going to trim it just uh, about a quarter of an inch. Uh, not just a little bit under or about a quarter of an inch. Let's see if I can get that right. And that's one. And I'm going to cut up one more for the other side. Just about a quarter of an inch there. And then you've got this little piece and you can you use it for embellishing because that's the only little waste that we have. 
and then we're going to glue them down like this so then it'll just cover the plain part so let's add some glue just place it in the front line it all up And I'll do the same to this side. You could also add washi tape if you wanted to use washi tape or your other scrap uh, strips of papers you may have. If you want to use a different pattern, you could do that. Be another way to use up some of your uh, paper scraps. So there we have that. And now what we'll do, we're going to add glue along these two sides here and then we're just going to bring them over and adhere that. So I'm just going to glue all the way to that score line. You can use a double sided tape if you like, a good strong one. So now we're going to bring this up and just line everything up so they meet along the edge. And then just making sure that that's nice and flat there, along there, on this side. It's nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. And there you have your clash style purse. And then this part here, you can fold it along that score line and you can finish it off. I'm just going to leave it like this because it all depends on what you're going to put inside. You don't want it. I just sort of leave it and then you can decide then how far out you want your closure to be, depending on how much you have in there. And then you can corner around the corners here to finish off your uh, closure or you could create a... As you can see, I've got my I've cut mine at an angle, so I can see there. I've just cut them in an angle. So what you do is you will cut one side in an angle from here going up, and then you're going to take this piece that you've removed, bring it over to this side as a template, so that you'll have an even cut on that side. So you could do that, or you could use um, decorative scissors to give it a nice decorative edge. But that is all there is to making this really lovely, simple, clutch or purse style expandable pocket. So that's that one. So now let's create the cute little mini bonus little booklet. So we are going to grab the remaining three pieces. These two that have the fold lines, we're going to fold it. I'm just going to trim this down a little bit to give it a nice tidy edge because I did use my scissors. Just give me that. So what we'll do, we're going to fold those fold lines over. That's the first one and then there is the second one. And what we're going to do is we are going to grab one and we are going to glue this side. So you're going to glue it on the inside to one side and we are going to fold that in. We are going to line this edge along the top where we made, where we added the glue. So that way that can open and close and then you're going to have this flip. I'm just going to trim one a little bit more because it doesn't line up there. So you might just need to play around with the the edge to just tidy it up. That's fine. So now you should have like a booklet already with that all closed up. And then this one here, we just I'm just going to fold this on the right side first, just a little bit in. That will give me a little side tuck pocket. And then I'm also going to fold this in. 
but I want to be able to have a little peek of this side and not line it up but you can line yours up I'm just going to have mine a little bit so that it doesn't just a little bit off the edge so like that so now you've got two tuck pockets so let's just glue these down so just glue on that side and on the bottom there sit that off and glue top and bottom on that side and seal that off and now I'm just going to angle cut a little bit of that and that side just making sure I've got the right side up we're going to grab this piece and I'm just going to make sure that there is just want to make sure that you can see that it's I'm just going to cut this down a bit just to make sure that that lines up with that okay so that's how it's going to look and all I'm going to do now I'm going to slide that in there like I have fold this over to there that in half quite a little thumb notch did I do that with that okay and then that's going to get glued into that hinge there so I'm just going to glue here and all along the bottom And then I'm just going to slide it in just a little bit off the edge. Actually, you can put glue on this side. So that's all glued in now and I should have a little spot there now to add the little tag how cute is that so cute and you can embellish it and decorate it so you'll have another little spot here for cute little tags little stamps word sentiments and there's another one there so that's your cute little bonus little pocket booklet and it coordinates with the clutch purse perfectly so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me just put this away and hope this is something you might like to make for yourself or to gift to somebody and I just think it's a cute little um, pocket insert and it's a nice large size as well uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in the kit, I will have that listed in my shop uh, very shortly. If you haven't seen it up there just yet, um, just bear with me as I get the photos together and um, have all the details ready for you. And I will only have um, four or six of these kits in my shop and um, they will be available until they are sold. Uh, so thank you very much everyone for joining me in this video. I hope I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.